वेलकम टू वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री दैट इज स्टर्लिटी अश्योरेंस लेवल वी विल स्टार्ट विद वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज स्टर्लिटी अश्योरेंस लेवल और एस ए एल एस एल रिप्रेजेंट्स द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए नॉन स्टराइल यूनिट इन ए बैच और स्टरलाइज मटेरियल अ कॉमन एस एल स्टैंडर्ड इज अ टेन टू माइनस सिक्स प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए वायबल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम रिमेनिंग मीनिंग अ सिक्स लॉक रिडक्शन इन माइक्रोबेल पॉपुलेशन इन फर्दर वीडियो वी विल understand why six log reduction is necessary this level of assurance is vital to minimize the risk of contamination and ensure product safety now the very basic question what is log reduction consider the population of 1000 is available or present in a particular surface and we divide it by the factor 10 then the remaining population will be 100 and here we will achieve one log reduction if for the same amount of population if you reduce it by the factor 100 that is if we divide it by 100 we will get the remaining population as 10 and that will be a two log reduction in very simple way dividing by 10 it will give one log reduction dividing by 100 it will give two log reduction and dividing by 1000 it will give three log reduction just count the number of zeros and that will be a log reduction here in case of six log reduction we reduce the population of 1 million to the one this one is very very important question why only six log reduction is considered as sterility assurance level why not five log or seven log answer of this question is given in four bullet points with the first two you will understand the importance of six log reduction and with the third and fourth point you will understand why five log or seven log is not considered or not recommended as sterility assurance level a six log reduction is considered as the standard for sterility assurance level due to its statistical significance and practical feasibility it is practically possible or feasible to achieve six log reduction with the commonly used sterilization methods that is dry heat sterilization moist heat sterilization and radiation sterilization this level ensures that the probability of having a viable microorganism in a sterilized product is extremely low that is one in a million population with the six log reduction we will be sure for 99.9999% for the sterilization third point is guideline reference the fda and international guidelines such as ISO 31137 for sterilization recommend for six log reduction for sterility assurance level to achieve a high level of confidence in sterility and fourth very important point is lower reductions might not provide sufficient assurance and higher reductions can be impractical to achieve and demonstrate what is the relation between SAL and the probability of non sterile unit probability of non sterile unit and sterility assurance level is inversely proportional the lower the sal the higher the probability of a non sterile unit in a batch the higher the sal the lower the probability of a non sterile unit in a batch what are the some common methods for achieving sal in pharmaceutical manufacturing common methods include steam sterilization dry heat sterilization radiation that is gamma electron beam and aseptic processing reference usp chapter 1229 how is bioburden defined in the context of sl bioburden refers to the population of viable microorganisms on a product or materials before sterilization reference iso guideline next question how does container closure integrity impact sterility assurance level proper container closure integrity prevents microbial ingress and maintains the sterility of the product reference usp chapter 1207 which microorganisms are commonly used as a challenge microorganism for dry heat sterilization in pharmaceutical industry dry heat sterilization method is commonly used in depyrogenation tunnel and depyrogenation oven you can refer below table for commonly used challenge microorganisms these are bacillus subtilis spores geobacillus stereothermophilus and clostridium sporogens the common reason or common factor for selecting them as a challenge microorganism is their property that they are highly heat resistant spores 
which microorganisms are commonly used as a challenge microorganism for moist heat sterilization method moist heat sterilization method is used in autoclave or hphv steam sterilizer this method is commonly used for the closed chamber sterilization like manufacturing tank and live riser chamber refer below table for challenge microorganisms and reason for their use what is overkill approach used in pharmaceutical industry it involves intentionally subjecting products or materials to sterilization conditions that exceed what would be necessary to achieve a desired level of sterility this approach provides an extra margin of safety and ensures that even if there are variations in the process or potential changes the product or material will still be considered sterile what are the consequences of failing to meet the required sterility assurance level failing to meet the required sterility assurance level can result in the release of non sterile products posing serious risk to patient safety and regulatory non compliance reference fda's guidance for industry last and very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for sterility assurance level in pharmaceutical industry commonly referred guidelines are iso 13408 usp chapter number 1116 fda's guidance for industry ugmp annex 1 and pds technical report number 1 keep watching farmgo subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry